most people who are adults and have gone through some sort of formal educational system are familiar with the fact that America was a leading nation in the Declaration of Human Rights. It is an international treaty that has been put in effect by the United Nations in which apparently, allegedly, I can't prove that for sure because I wasn't there, over 400 nations in the world signed within it. What we know from Article 3 is that we have the right to be safe in our persons. We have the right to freedom to uh, be safe in that way. The actual article has a unique statement, and that's something that we can look at today, and that it literally says the truth, that everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security of person. The truth is today that when we do these things, when we talk about life, we expect that security of person, yet there are law enforcement officers across the land that do not allow us that security of person. We also have people in our communities that are totally socially inept and total strangers that don't allow us that today. Since I've been on this city, in this city, on this campus, I have had some group, some black group of Satan, constantly cutting my pagan's priest beard, which is both not only a religious hate crime, it could be a racially uh, instigated crime, but it might also be what we would call a sex crime, and it technically is under the law. It's actually a form of molestation, and it is uh, full of charges of mutilation, but it is definitely a hate-based sex crime. You see, men's secondary sex characteristics belong to them, just like any woman has the right to her hair on her head or on her body in any way, shape, or form. Since I've been in this situation of being constantly harassed and harangued by law enforcement officers since about 2010, I can tell you that the technological abuse has increased, and I can also tell you that the people that they have involved to do so has also increased. The liars of America are people that take information that is considered private, and they dole it out to other people. At the same time, there are generally people in a community who are immature and jealous of men with brains like me. I am not the super scientist of the world, I am not the most intelligent guy on the planet, but I have lived a life fully without too much strife. Every family has a budget, every family has some financial struggles, but only when I started to lose my wife did I start to lose my productivity and my performance in terms of being able to care for myself. People don't allow people the right to grieve is fairly true. And people in my original family did not give a shit about what my losses were going to do. But in that moment of time, they thought they would attack, harass, harangue, impede, and steal from me. And because of that, I have no more relationship with any of them, and many of them are on their way back to God. Not because of me. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and that we have one life to live, and that life belongs to us, not to any parent who thought they gave life, which, in theory, they did, but Jesus, or God, whatever you believe in, Odin, like me, actually breathed the soul within that body. <clears throat> and openly, don't even get me started about the soul and how it can get all kinds of defects through the physical form, through a channel that's going delivered through a woman who might be being emotionally, sexually, psychologically, or physically abused, and what can happen to that child in terms of how estrogen can poison things and ruin life. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about the Lord, and the Lord produces love and light in the world, and people, humans, choose hatred and abuse today.